We are not American. We are not American. We are not American. Say it in your heart. Say it when you sleep. We are not American. We will die as Hawaiians. We will never be Americans. The Americans, my people, are our enemies. And you must understand that. They are our enemies. They took our land. They imprisoned our queen. They banned our language. They forcibly made us a colony of the United States. America always says they are democratic. Lies! That is a lie! They have never been democratic with native people. They have never been democratic with Indians. They have never been democratic with Hawaiians. The United States of America is the most powerful imperialist country in the world. In the world. They control the United Nations. They control the Pacific Ocean. All these nuclear submarines circulating throughout the Pacific. The United States of America is a death country. It gives death to native people. And the only way to fight the United States of America is to be political. Kue! 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 Fight! Welcome back to my channel. I am Iloho, your gracious host, and I approve this message. So Hawaiians are publicly fighting back against American imperialism and colonialism. I found this thread from a native Hawaiian who shared tons of information on the past and current oppressive conditions of Hawaiians due to American powers. I want to share with you all some of this information, some things that I have known and some things that I recently learned. Feel free to follow them on Twitter. They said Hawaii is a Disneyland-like resort built over our indigenous communities and ancestors' graves, made to do bastardizations of sacred dances in sexy feather headdresses and entertain the rich tourists for starvation wages. 12 hours a day, seven days a week, drinking jet-fueled poisoned water. If you didn't know, in November of 2021, health officials in the Navy ordered residents of Pearl Harbor and the surrounding area to stop using the tap water after dangerous levels of petroleum products were found in the Navy's joint Pearl Harbor Hickman water system. The source was pinpointed back to the jet fuel leak from the nearby Red Hill bulk fuel storage facility. Hundreds of families reported petroleum odors coming from residential tap water supplied by the Navy water system, alongside reports of health issues caused by the contaminated drinking water. The DOH have received almost 500 complaints of fuel or gasoline-like odor from people who received water from the Navy water system. Numerous families allege that they're still battling long-term chronic health issues in the lawsuit. The PGA golf professional says he has had five surgeries since and continues to battle internal bleeding. One family said it has been plagued with abdominal pain, vomiting, memory loss, skin rashes, brain fog, eye irritation, seizures, and teeth and gum issues, all according to the lawsuit. Now this is not the first, second, nor third time that the jet fuel has leaked, contaminating the water and the island. Activists and residents are asking for a new and improved plan for defueling that speeds up the timeline to ensure residents have safe water sooner. So here we have a list of stats from the Twitter thread. Since the US invaded our sovereign country, Hawaii, it tops the US in police killings disproportionately Pacific Islander. So this was new to me and I had to do some research and upon researching, I did find this. There's a new study by researchers at University of California, San Francisco and Drexel University Dornsife School of Public Health that shows that Pacific Islanders in the US are killed by the police at rates on par with black Americans and Native Americans. The national focus on acts of police brutality often overlooks victims who are Asian American and Pacific Islander. That's because data show that as a whole, they experience low rates of fatal police violence, but new research shows the risks some in that community face are much higher. 
According to the article, Native Americans and Pacific Islanders are often lumped into a single racial group, making it difficult for researchers to examine the differences between Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders from different backgrounds. Now that is some new tea. The second stat is Hawaii is by far number one, the most economically unequal state in the US, worse than LA, New York, and DC by far. Hawaii leads the US in the school to prison pipeline, number one in rounding up children, especially native Hawaiians, part of the continued U.S. attempt to destroy us indigenous people and life ways. The U.S. banned our Hawaiian language, nearly extinguishing it. Less than 100 kids spoke it in the 80s. Kids are still punished for speaking Hawaiian today. My mother's hands were shattered for speaking Hawaiian in school. So let's get into that a little bit. After the annexation of Hawaii as a territory of the United States in 1898, the language was officially banned from schools and the government. There's outrage in a Maui courtroom today after a judge ordered that a man be arrested for answering him in Hawaiian instead of English. I'm going to give you another opportunity, Mr. Kayo, to just identify yourself. Just so the record is clear. Um, I'm going to ask you one last time. Is your name Samuel Kayo? Hey, Bob. Kikuni mamu o oye ke kanaka ao i kaya mai ni kikuni mamu o etaluna kanaka ao. There was another instance of language discrimination when a little girl's teacher told her not to speak Hawaiian or she'll be punished. You should not be in a position of power or authority if you cannot communicate with the people, not the people that has to change their language to communicate with you. And then, of course, we're not surprised by this. The richest man on earth owns most of Hawaii, while most of us don't own a single acre of our U.S. illegally occupied home that hasn't yet been bombed into a toxic waste dump by the U.S. military. Mark Zuckerberg sports a 1300 anchor ranch and bought a fresh water reservoir as we drink PFOS filled cancered water or buy bottled water at $6 a gallon. The sovereign country of Hawaii had black citizens before the U.S. Civil War. In fact, U.S. slaves that stepped onto Hawaiian soil were considered free. Chinese were full citizens in Hawaii as U.S. chained them up to build railroads in West Coast with terrible racism, lynching of Asians. So I did more research on this as well, and apparently this is facts. So Anthony D. Allen, known to Hawaiians by the name Alani, was born into slavery in New York in 1774. Allen fled slavery at the age of 24 for a life at sea. He eventually purchased his freedom and settled in Hawaii. In Waikiki, Allen became a successful businessman. Among other contributions, he started the first bowling alley in Hawaii, built the first carriage road, he built a school, and ran the first hospital for American seamen in Honolulu. So this document to the left, down at the bottom, it says, Moses Allen Certificate of Citizenship of the Kingdom of Hawaii, listing Africa as his native land, October 1st, 1869, courtesy of Hawaii State Archives. Now the last point I wanna bring up is the colorism and misrepresentation of the native Hawaiians. If you don't know, Disney announced that they will be remaking Lilo and Stitch in a live action movie. Native Hawaiians pushed back on this simply because Sydney Ogudong is not a native Hawaiian. She looks nothing like Nani. Nani is thick as hell. Nani thicker than a bag of Snickers, okay? She's darker skinned. She has rounder features. They could have easily gotten a beautiful native Hawaiian woman to play Nani in the live action. The colorism is blatant, obvious. The anti-Pacific Islander is blatant and obvious. And you would think in the climate of today's society, Disney wouldn't even play like that but they play right in their faces, mm, mm So yes, shout out to the Hawaiians for standing up and publicly fighting back against American imperialism, which is still alive and well and destroying their island today. You guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Were any of these historical Hawaiian facts new to you? Personally, I learned so much just from that thread. I will have the information to all of the articles and the Twitter link in the description, so be sure to check that out. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss any uploads. Let me know if there's any other content or topics you would like for me to discuss. You know, what's going on in Hawaii reminds me a lot of what's going on in West Africa. I will have updated videos for you on that as well. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you at the next one. Later. Cool air.